Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my render settings. Hopefully this is beneficial for those that have questioned me on how I achieve my HD. And right now I just want to show you my properties. Um, me personally, I use Sony Vegas Pro 8 and my default properties are 1280 by 720 HD at 30 FPS. Um, you can certainly go above and beyond what I use, but personally for the way that YouTube is, I find that this works best. Uh, if you want to save your properties, click um, Start All Compositions and Apply and click OK. And next time you go and make, you know, like a new video, these will be your default settings. So now I'm going to just drag a video that I made last year. It's on my Wii game account. It's um, Digital C by Thrice. Um, personally, I don't know why, but it's kind of been a thing of mine to crop all of my footage to widescreen. I personally like the way that it gives it more of a cinematic feel. So I have a template saved for that. And I think it looks, you know, just much more professional and clean. You don't have to do that, it is completely optional, but I'm just showing. Once you have your video completely done, double click underneath your last timeline and do Control A to select all. You go to file and then render. And it will have a list of different presets. You can change the file name to whatever you want your video to save as. And then I personally used 6 Mbps HD 720 30p video. But the default of that template is not what I use. I go and edit it. So after you do that click custom. Make sure that the video quality is set to best under audio I don't change anything but if you personally know what you're doing then feel free to change whatever you wish under video I change the smoothness to a hundred make sure the FPS is set to 30 and um, just double check that it is 1280 by 720 HD and you should be all set you can also go back and um, look at that custom template and at the top change the name and then you know I personally save mine as YTHD for YouTube HD and then just click the floppy disk and it'll save it for the next time you want to use those render settings so it'll start rendering and you're pretty much done depending on the duration of your video you know you'll have anywhere from like a few seconds to an hour <laughs> normally I run like a 30 45 minute render so hopefully this works for you stay tuned for more tutorials and I will put the links to the screenshots of my settings in the description bar and uh, yeah later <laughs>